love is something that you do. Well, may God bless you. I'm missionary Bobby Burnett. We're in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain. It was rain last night so bad, and we're all staying in camping tents, and it was cold and damp this morning. We were, actually, this morning, we was inside the clouds, and the people been walking down the mountains this morning. And matter of fact, I was outside at four o'clock, and people was coming in at four o'clock. They've been waiting. And we're just getting ready to start. We haven't actually started. They're just getting ready. I'm gonna take you in the side of the church where they sit and where it's warm. Then they come out here and be treated in the different areas of the doctors and nurses and our volunteer team and our Haitian team. And maybe one day you come on a clinic, you don't have to be a doctor or a nurse. You can help clean wounds. You can help carry medicine. You can help do all kind of number of things. Bonjour, bonjour. These are still waiting to come in. Bonjour. 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 Where are you Oh, who bell on peel? Who bell on peel? Who do some peel? Who do? Ah, Jay Z, Remy, who on peel? Who Remy, Jay Z? Jay Z, Remy, who on peel? Yes, there was the first day of the Mobile Clinic, and they seen 905 people. Not, this is out here where there's no, no medical help. There's no clinics out here. There's no help. They see 905 people yesterday and they passed out almost 4,000 different medications as a gift. Praise God. And yesterday we had nine come to Jesus. Most of them came through was Christians. I tell you, it was the damp, cold, rainy night on top of the mountain last night. I'm glad it felt the, the sun to come out. But love is something you do. God bless you. Welcome. This baby right here has a severe problem. Um, tell them about the abscesses. So, the dad came up and said baby was not eating, drinking, 22 days old. We started looking, the baby's got abscesses all the way around here on both sides of the face, which would make it really difficult to eat. Um, baby and looks a little dehydrated already. Yeah, I mean, there's, he's got little abscesses here. So mom isn't here, so my question to him was, how is the baby even I uncovered the baby. The baby had huge abscesses on the face, hard as a rock abscesses. It was so infected. Um, there's no way the baby was eating. The baby was dehydrated. Um, and then he comes here. He walked here a pretty good distance to see if we could help. The baby needed to go by ambulance and Love a Child was stepped up so we can take him by ambulance, we can get the baby down there, get the care the baby needs. I promise you, I've been a nurse for 18 years, that baby would not have made it if that baby doesn't get care. Babies that are dehydrated like that, with infections like that, they don't do well without treatment. So this is the mom of the baby who had the big abscesses in the cheek and the abscesses in the chest that they have to send down to a clinic, uh, downtown Port-au-Prince, so we're going to send them by our ambulance. Um, I don't think they've ever been in a car before, let alone an ambulance. Hey, but this baby. Let them come baby, up, Sherry. Let them come up. Uh, let them come up, Sherry. Fuck back. Fuck back. See, she's scared. She's scared this she's never been in the This woman has a before. tiny baby. It's got to she's go to the scared. hospital. It has two big masses up in his, in his cheeks and a mass in the chest, and the baby's only about a week old. 
and the doctor says the baby will die without help. Now we've got this beautiful ambulance that's going to go right down to our clinic. From our clinic, they'll send it to a baby hospital. Thank you so much, David Crank and friends. Babies that are dehydrated like that, with infections like that, they don't do well without treatment. If we hadn't been here, I, I mean, I know what would have happened to that baby. There's no doubt in my mind. And it's things like that that when you feel like you're maybe not making, maybe we're not doing, maybe we're not making a difference. I have these moments here where I'm like, oh my goodness, am I, what am I doing? You have somebody like that come in. We have made a difference. Love a Child has done everything for that family. This isn't accidental that we were here. I mean, we've had people come up that needed us at just the right time. Um, that's not an accident. God's got a hand in all of this. There are literally thousands of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these children who have nothing and are giving them hope, hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have a better life. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished children who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also provide a family with a complete package of medicine for $20. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic, $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. My name is Cassie and I am from Kentucky and I am here, I'm as a nurse and I'm here to see people and just kind of, I can't get over how many people are here right now. <laughs> I've always had a heart for helping people and I've actually, the, I got into nursing to do mesh, mission work. There was a lady that's blood pressure was like 180 over 112 and so we gave her some medicine and we're going to recheck her blood pressure to see if it's come down. It was 180 over 112 and we gave her some medicine we're going to see if it came down. We have this patient and she has high blood pressure. It was 180 over like 112 and the doctor said we don't have any like rapid medicine to bring it down. She has headaches and blurry vision. I, I guess we'll have to send her an ambulance but I was waiting for the other guy to come down from the mountain with his wife and baby because then I, where the ambulance has to make yeah. two trips which takes it like two or three hours each. Yeah. Well, you could try it. Just to maybe take it again after 30 minutes and see okay. if it goes down a little bit, and then we'll make a decision. Maybe that time, by that time, the guy with this yeah, wife I don't will think be it's back. like an like just by looking at her, she yeah. doesn't look like she's like an emergency right now. But find a cool spot to lay her down. Okay. She can have a stroke. So you need the medicine. Yeah, she was on medicine, but she no longer said she didn't have any more. So she's not been taking it for a while. The big look like you need to put us in. So even though she's not really in pain, but you can just... No, she's got headaches and blurry vision. Those are signs of high blood pressure. So how high is it right now? It's 205 over 115. So that's very high. And it's higher than it was about 30 minutes ago, after the medicine for the yeah. We've seen three or four people go up and over the mountain in an ambulance uh, to go to the hospital. And I'm telling you, the roads are like uh, boulders and craters and you go through a rock riverbed to get here and for those uh, ambulances to go uh, through there and come back over the mountain. The, all the doctors and the providers here are just amazing, but nobody does what Bobby and Sherry does. I mean, nobody. Two years ago, uh, 
Hurricane Matthew came through Haiti and wiped out man, a lot of the a lot of the country, and my dad was dying. Mm. And Bobby came, Bobby took a flight all the way to Texas to come see my dad and pray for him. My dad was my best friend, and Bobby, uh, my goodness, Bobby, uh, my dad had started giving to the ministry, and uh, he had sold this little tractor, and and he put his money in the freezer, and he he took it as ice cold cash. He wanted to send to these babies who were hungry, and Bobby uh, made it a point to come and visit my dad, and and call my mom regular. That that my dad has passed away a year ago, but I, I really appreciate Bobby and Sherry because they they have given us an opportunity. I know there's hundreds if not thousands of missionaries, but nobody does what they do. They go to the regions and beyond, and just like Bobby says, love is something you do. To learn more about these stories and how you can help change the lives of these poor Haitian children, please visit our website at www.loveachild.com and see what God would have you to do. Please get involved today with one or more of our many outreaches. You will have a once-in-a-lifetime experience by sponsoring a child or attending a remote trip to Haiti in the regions beyond. By going to loveachild.com, you will have a secure way to donate and leave a legacy of hope and compassion for generations to come. Remember Jesus said, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Nobody does what they do. They go to the regions and beyond, and just like Bobby says, love is something you do. Please go to loveachild.com now to make a donation and change a life today and forever. On behalf of the poor children in the country of Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you. Trying to get all the people inside this church is a tough job today because there's more people today than there were yesterday. There'll be more people tomorrow. Thank you so much to the person who sponsored this clinic and those of you who are praying about what to do for God that will really make an impact in Haiti, pray about a gift of $1,000. $1,000 will sponsor a mobile clinic and we just want to thank you. It's so important. You know, you can give $50 to sponsor 50 children to come or $25 to sponsor 25 children. But people have asked us, Sherry, what will $1,000 do? Look around. Look around. These people, they do not have an aspirin. They don't have an aspirin in their village. They don't have a bottle of alcohol. They don't have any pain medicine. They don't have anything for burns. They don't have a doctor. They don't have a CBS pharmacy. They don't have anything. This is it. What would a thousand dollars do? Please pray about what you can do, please. It's so needed, thank you, thank you. You know, one time Bobby had a checkup and the doctor told him, you have melanoma cancer. You may have six months or one year at the very most to live. You know, I remember that like it was yesterday. It was bad news. We didn't know what to do. All of our hopes and dreams of building things in Haiti were crushed in a moment. But we began to read how Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and God reversed the decision. And you know, that was back in 1996 and Bobby is still alive and working for God here in Haiti. You need to get this book. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new devotional book, Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember to receive your free copy of Bobby and Sherry's new book, 
Simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. God bless you. I want to give you a word for the mission field here in the country of Haiti. I'm in an area called Pay Paris, where we built a church about two years ago. Thank you, David George, for sponsoring the church. God bless you with the money and your partners. We're up here 4,000 foot up in the middle of nowhere. And we're having a mobile clinic. People are coming from every direction. Some walk for hours. Some been walking since yesterday. But I want to read you a scripture. I, 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 I've, I've quoted this on television before, but it's in my heart this morning. You know, Matthew, the 25th chapter, then shall the righteous answer him saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger? and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when we saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? The fourth verse is so important. And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, listen, powerful, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. That's a powerful, powerful scripture. I almost cried this morning at four o'clock when it was coming, coming through here. I'm sitting outside at four o'clock in the morning. They're just coming in here. I almost cried because I thought, you know, we're helping these people. You and I together are helping these people. But the, actually, the Bible says, inasmuch as ye have done it to one of the least of these little ones, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. So when Sherry's over there and Abby in the wound care section scrubbing their heads, binding up their wounds, washing their sores, washing the blood off of them, we're doing it unto Jesus. When a volunteer team from America is here working like they are today, helping the little Haitians, they're actually doing it like Jesus was here himself. We are doing it under Jesus. So those who have given, you have prayed, we're doing this together. Not just to the Haitian people, precious Haitian people, but under Jesus. And thank all of you who've helped and prayed and given from Australia, the United Kingdom, over up in Canada, and over in a Africa, and over in Greece, and all the different, and Australia, we just love you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all you do. We love you. We're working together. We're doing it under Jesus himself. Matthew 25th chapter, the 40th verse. God bless you from Pei, Peri, and Haiti. Sure and I live and lived here now for 27 years. It's a joy to say yes to Jesus. It's not a sacrifice. Wow, look how dirty this little guy is. This is little Victor, seven years old. He is covered with, with skin sores and a terrible rash, a terrible, like itching itching rash just covering his body probably that will soon turn into impetigo mm -hmm. okay what fret okay do what fret me ma ben ben okay okay u bras okay okay these are the people that came from the top of that mountain look how covered he is she te bien she te bien adlo okay this is how these children come there's no doctor up there no pharmacy. There's no place to get an, any kind, even a bottle of betadine, cough medicine, or anything. Nothing for a burn, nothing for head sores, nothing for fever. Just imagine if this is one of us, and this was our child or a grandchild or somebody that we loved, and you just couldn't do anything about it. And every day they just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And worse. You know, children can die of infections in Haiti. So, but I'm so glad that he came today. So we're going to clean him up, give him some medicine, and then show his mom how to, how to really take good care of him. I think that if it weren't for love a child, no. I'm just so thankful. I mean, 
he walked so far to be here today to get the simple things, simple things that we have all the time in the United States of America. Um, but it may have saved his life today so that he doesn't get an infection. And we're just so thankful for everybody who gives to love a child, everybody who makes it possible. It makes me cry, Sherry. We all do what we can do. We all join together, every one of us, everybody who loves God, people that are watching, people that are praying, people that give, people that go. It just takes everybody working together because not one person can do this by themselves. It is so overwhelming. When I stood out here this morning, and honestly, when I saw these people just lined up and just, just coming and coming and coming like they are, like, like they are right now, and just like ants going up and down a mountain. It just it seems so overwhelming. And sometimes you say, wow, you know, our medicine is running out and what in the world are we going to do? But we always just do the best that we can. And, and God helps us get through it. And I just want to say, take a moment to say thank you to all of you who have helped make, you know, some of you have given $1,000 for our clinics to sponsor a clinic like this. Others given other smaller amounts. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Missy, Missy and Peel, thank you very much on the behalf of the Haitian people and Sherry and I. Thank you for helping make this clinic and all of our many future clinics possible. Thank you, Mercy, Mercy and Peel. God bless you. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also provide a family with a complete package of medicine for $20. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. I'm pulling out all of the people who really need to be seen quicker, like the lady who just walked over two mountain ranges with four kids. Those people really need to get in there, be, be seen so they can start heading back. The pregnant ladies, the elderly, we're pulling all those ahead of all the, all the others. You know, they're standing out here in the hot sun after they just walked for miles. It's very hard, it's very hard. We are seeing more people than we ever expected to see today. So these people are very fortunate. For one, they don't have to pay for any of this medicine and they get good doctor care. After they see the doctor, they get a nice big plate of food to eat before they have to walk back up the mountain. So it's a good day for these people. They're getting good medical help and they're gonna have their stomachs filled with some good food. Uh, we have Wonky here, he's age seven and he has a very, very bad case of impentago. I'm gonna find out how long he has had this. Depuis qu'il est, l'été commencé. Il y a 15 jours. 15 jours, 15 days ago. Est-ce que tu es docteur? Non, pas de communi. Okay, we're gonna take care of Wonky. Okay, come here baby. Benny. Okay, so this is Winky. Ooh, H7. He's had this for 15 days. It's really, really, really bad in Patago. So if we don't clear it up and get it taken care of, it's going to spread to all the other children in the family. We're going to take care of him today, get him treat treated, get his head cleaned up really good, try to get all these horrible scabs off of his head, and he'll be okay. Wow. I'm sure that this is hurting him when we're scrubbing it because he's got all those things caked on the top of his head. So bad. Ooh, bon baby, huh? Did they give him an antibiotic? Yeah. Uba, I say, Fube, Fube, retire, 
ça qui est jaune. Là, donc. Oui, parce que les plus bons sont récupérés chaque petit croix chaque soir avant de faire ça. Parce que si vous ne retirez pas ça, ça qui est jaune, il ne peut pas guérir bien. Oui, tu fais ça chaque soir avant de faire ça. Oui, parce que il fait mal de faire ça. Il fait mal en pire. Où est ça? Yeah, she's just got a whole bag of medicine. It's very expensive. Okay, mommy, Marale, okay? Okay, bonjour, Benny, okay? Bye bye, amen. Pray about what you can do. You might want to just sponsor 25 children to come to the clinic with a gift of $25, or maybe you want to sponsor 50 children to come to the clinic with a gift of $50, or you might one day want to give a larger amount or sponsor a mobile clinic with a gift of $1,000. Please do what you can, and just always remember that you being right there in your home, you are the Good Samaritan. And thank you so much for reaching across the water to another country, maybe to people you don't even know, who really are your neighbors. Thank you, God bless you. You know, you can sponsor, You can. I just wanna say, you can sponsor a clinic just like this for $1,000, and plus, you know, $50 will sponsor 50 people coming to the clinic, especially the children, $50. You can sponsor 50 people or any amount that God lays upon your heart will go a long way, the widow's might, or you may do. I want to do a larger amount. You may want to sponsor five clinics, but let God use you today. The numbers on that, the number and address on the screen, you may call in, on a toll-free number and give right now. It's secure, it will help speed the process up. Call right now. Or you may give online. <coughs> Excuse me, you may give online. <coughs> that will speed the process up. <coughs> it was cold and damp, it rang last night. Damp and cold, my shirt is damp. But anyway, or just write the mailing address on your screen. Write the mailing address. And those who give, I want to give you our two latest books. Love is Something You Do, and our latest devotional book that just came out last month, Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God. A gift to you for helping us and the people here in Haiti. Let God use you today. You're not watching this program by accident. Thank you. May God bless you for your love and your gift Thank you.